When I was a kid, I couldn't draw, I couldn't play guitar, and I couldn't really even talk to people. But what I did have, I could play with toys. And I created my own fan fiction, my own world, my own Tumblr. One time I had a Woody and Buzz Lightyear action figure and I made them kiss and I felt really weird about it. I guess there's supposed to be this age where you start playing with toys and when you stop playing with toys. I didn't really know when that switch was supposed to be, but apparently I waited a little too long to stop because my really fucking racist grandpa one time went, you're still playing with toys? And I, I was like, uh, yeah, cause they're fucking cool and I, I can do this, look like that. And uh, he, he made me feel bad about it. And I don't think it took very much longer to stop playing altogether. But here's the thing, my grandpa wasn't only racist, but he was wrong. You see, the Barbie movie trailer just came out and this is exactly what happens if you don't ever stop playing with toys. This is femininity baked at 420 degrees in an easy bake oven. I think it's such a great idea. This could be the next Legally Blonde. Barbie's gonna be directed by Greta Gerwig who made Little Women and Lady Bird. I, I saw Lady Bird and that's such a small, beautiful, like coming of age story. And even though that's all I fucking saw and I'm gonna see Little Women, I still think she is perfect for this. The trailer proved it even more so. It's stylish, it's camp, and it's fun. I'm pretty sure the last time I had fun was when I was playing with one of my toys. And the writer of the movie wrote this. First of all, I, I love my mother. She was a wonderful mother. Just repeating what you told me. Secondly, how dare you compare my mother to my mother? I may be like my father, but I am not like my mother. You are! And you're like my father. You're also like my mother. You're all the bad things about all of these people. With everything that's happening at DC, I really don't feel like Harley Quinn is coming back. And even if she did, I don't think it's quite as the iconic role as she was hoping for. It's not like this is her Iron Man or Wolverine. I think she has so much more potential to be the biggest star in the world and maybe Barbie could actually take her there. It doesn't stop there either. It's also starring La La Land and my past Shang-Chi. It's kind of funny being a guy whose favorite color is pink because back in the day it used to kind of be made fun of for liking pink because it's a girl color and now these days if you like pink and if you really like pink you might be one of those guys that say you know real men wear pink on their t-shirts and i don't know that's uh not you know you're fine you're great i like you <laughs> and dude real life set and you know as much as i like watching metaverse the movie it's really refreshing to feel like that budget went somewhere cool i know life is really annoying right now because everything's a franchise but i really think this is worth giving a chance the best part about my grandpa still being alive is i can tell him that there's a Barbie movie coming out and I can tell him that I worked on the movie. I did not work on the movie, but I'm going to lie to him and hopefully he has a turn to Christ moment and changes his mind about the world. All right, I'm going to therapy. Bye.